You're watching one of Goalie's Goal Mind Lessons, where we teach kids health, hygiene, and even safety skills. Go to getgoalie.com to learn more. And that chat is my favorite ghost tour. So now that we've discussed my favorite museum tour, my favorite city tour, and my favorite ghost tour, that concludes our stream on touring. <sighs> Anything you guys want to add? Here's a comment. Great stream. Why, thank you. But I'll be honest, Tara, when I heard today's topic was touring, I thought you were going to be talking about the Turing test. The Turing test? I feel like I've heard that before, but I can't say I know what it is or anything about it. Well, you're in luck, Tara. I may be of some assistance in these matters. Oh, hey, Artie. For those of you who are new to the chat, that's my robot teacher, Artie. I built him using artificial intelligence. While I am an expert in the subject at hand, perhaps we could use the topic suggested by the chat as a learning opportunity. Well, isn't learning about the Turing test a learning opportunity? It is, Tara, but I calculate a bigger opportunity. We will often encounter topics that we are not fully familiar with, but luckily we have the perfect tool to help us whenever we encounter a new subject. What's that, Artie? The internet. The same thing you use to connect to your viewers on your stream can help you connect to large amounts of information to answer your questions or research a miscellaneous topic. That's an interesting thought, Artie. I am familiar with the internet, obviously. Hey, chat. But I guess I never thought of it as a tool. What do you say, chat? Should we spend some time today learning how to find things on the internet? Let's do it! Excellent, Tara. Let's dive in. If you were a machine, like me, I would use the internet to explain this topic in a series of ones and zeros that would only take a few milliseconds. But because you are a carbon-based life form, perhaps it's better to use an analogy. I'm not sure if I should be offended or not, Artie. I assure you, no offense was intended. For our first lesson, we'll need to understand what the internet is and how it works. For today's lesson, let us think of the internet as a giant library filled with information. I can get behind that. I love the library. For our second lesson, we'll learn about search engines. They are our friendly librarians in this vast digital library. Like Miss Dewey. She's the librarian at my local library. Exactly. Then for our third lesson, we will learn how to ask these librarians for the information we want. We'll even look into using AI like me as a search engine. Does that make you a librarian, Artie? In a digital way, yes. For our final lesson, we'll learn how to evaluate our search results. In the same way not every book in the library is relevant or accurate, what we find on the internet may not be exactly what we're looking for. So it's important to understand how to know what's good information. Do I need my library card for this journey, Artie? Negative, Tara. There is no library card required on this exciting journey through this internet library. Whew, that's a relief. I lost my card two years ago, but Miss Dewey knows me so well, she never checks anymore. Let's dive into lesson one, understanding the internet. Are you ready to start exploring this enormous digital library we call the internet? So wait, despite the name, the internet isn't actually a net? That's correct, Tara. The internet is a giant network that connects computers all around the world, allowing them to share information with each other. And that information is what makes up our massive library. Whoa, that sounds a bit intimidating. Don't be intimidated, Tara. Remember, even the most gigantic libraries are just collections of individual books. So each website is like a book in the library of the internet? Correct. And if each book in this internet library is a web page, then there are billions of books. Because there are billions of web pages. Billions of books? I thought you said I shouldn't be intimidated, Artie. It would take me my whole life to even find the book I wanted if there's billions of books. Lucky for us, Tara, the internet is a digital world that doesn't require you to actually go anywhere if you're connected. How does that work? The internet is like a giant network that connects computers all around the world, allowing them to share information with each other. 
So it's a lot easier to find the information you need than when you're in a library. It's like if every book you pick up turns into the book you want. Any book I want? That's the best part about this internet library, Tara. We can find any kind of information on the internet. So, it's like having access to every book in the world? Exactly. Some websites have text, others have pictures or videos. Some even have interactive content, just like some books have puzzles or quizzes. And just like a library has many uses, from studying for school to reading for pleasure. We use the internet for many things too, from researching new information and learning new skills, to communicating with friends or playing games. That sounds amazing and complicated at the same time. But I guess it's not as intimidating when you think of it that way. It's starting to make sense now. I'm glad to hear that, Tara. But let us perform a knowledge analysis to be sure. What is the internet? Is the internet an actual net? Or is it a network that connects computers all around the world? Don't worry, this class is not over yet. The rest of it is available on Goalie, the best skill building tablet for kids. Your kids will earn points for every lesson they watch and even get to practice with pre-made routines. You know the deal, like and subscribe, and tell us what you want us to teach your kid next.